Hey everyone, this is Davey, and today I am sharing a budget-friendly grocery haul for two. Okay, so I have not shared a grocery haul in probably six or seven months, but I thought I'd test it out and see what you guys think. So thumbs up if you like grocery hauls. Um, I want to do kind of a budget-friendly grocery haul because my channel is kind of based on thrifting and decorating and cleaning on a budget and um, just being wise with your money as well. So I wanted to kind of gauge you guys out and see what you thought about me doing grocery hauls and like shopping for food on a friendly budget friendly um, income. So here is what I've got. And now keep in mind, I already have some things on hand. So this is just for this week with some ideas that I have for food. And now I have a small grocery store and I just shopped the sale bill, the sale flyer that we get. And this is a sale bill that we get. And um, you just have your sales in here. And I literally got pretty much everything here is off of this flyer. So I just write a list and go from there. So I'm gonna start with my produce. I got bananas, they were 59 cents a pound. I don't normally buy tomatoes in the winter, but they were on sale as well for 99 cents. Apples were $1.09 a pound. Then these were all 50 cents each. So I stocked up to make some soups like a white chicken chili, like a black bean soup or black bean brownie and chili itself, like uh, beef chili. And my husband loves tomato soup when I'm at work. Celery was not on sale, but it was $1.19, which I thought was a pretty good price. The cheese was three for five, and my husband eats cheese. Um, this was not on sale, but it was cheaper than the um, Kraft brand. The Kraft brand was probably 50 cents more, so that's a tip there. Just even if it is on sale, sometimes the off brand, like Always Save, is cheaper. Um, the tuna was three for two. Um, and then I made kombucha and my husband likes to have juice in it as well. So this was $1.99 and I like that it says no sugar added. So it's still pretty good for you. Um, the bread here was on sale for $2.50. And I like too that this does not have enriched wheat flour in it. It just says 100% whole wheat on the front. Even though um, it's not like a fancy brand, it's just Sara Lee. I feel like it's better than sometimes the 12 grain oat bread, stuff like that. Um, this I needed, ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon. This was not on sale, but bigger container, so it'll last me forever. I needed eggs. Those were 205. I normally get from a local farmer, but I needed eggs. Um, okay, I was checking out getting fresh strawberries. They were $3 each, and so instead, I found the frozen was $2.39 so I thought I might as well do that because I do smoothies or make like a coffee cake with fruit in it so I thought I'd buy the frozen instead and then these little sizzlers were a dollar a piece and my husband really likes those and check out the ingredients well yeah it's gluten free but um, pork water salt sugar dextrose that's probably the worst part uh, flavoring what is that word whatever TBHQ is, BHT, I don't know. But not a lot of ingredients in there. So I thought those were still pretty good. So that is what I got. I spent $39.50, so under $40 on this grocery haul. And like I said, keep in mind, I do have other things on hand already, like the meat. Um, last week I bought whole fryer chickens for five bucks. Um, so if you want to see more of these type of videos, let me know in the comments below. And let me know too if you ever shop at your small town local grocery store. I feel like um, I don't have a huge store close to me like Hy-Vee or Aldi um, or Whole Foods or anything like that. So I do what I have, what I can do. So anyways, I hope you have a great and blessed day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.